Tonight we get word of a Chicago school principal and staff misusing gift cards meant to reward good students. Thousands of dollars in gift cards used to pay for steak dinners and gambling. All of it documented in this 72 page report. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli takes a closer look at how it happened. Over a four year period ending last summer, CPS administrators legally purchased $250,000 in gift cards to reward students for good grades or attendance. But the district's inspector general, in his annual report, found disturbing cases where administrators stole or misappropriated the cards. In some of these cases, people were buying $200, you know, Visa cards, kind of large value dollar cards, and just using them to buy things for their own uh, personal purposes. By phone, Nicholas Schuler told us he discovered staff at five schools used the cards to pay for expensive steak dinners, casino gambling, and card detailing services for a BMW. The list also includes layaway payments at Kmart and roughly $3,200 for wedding favors. The grand total is $10,200, but the dollar sum, says Schuler, isn't the issue. The fact that we have it happening in at least five schools is, is a significant problem. It's pretty egregious and unacceptable. Janice Jackson is the CPS interim CEO, a district that has now redefined staff guidelines for gift card purchases. And I think it's important to note that those people are no longer with the district, which is the right move. I really think, you know, this culture starts at the top. Parents with Raise Your Hand Action, a school advocacy organization, say in a district where the past two CEOs, Forrest Claypool and Barbara Bird Bennett, were forced to resign in the shadow of fraud, more needs to be done. Until you know we actually have an elected school board, I don't think that we can hold those people at the top accountable. The IG is advocating one central system for purchasing gift cards that will allow for better auditing. It could also be more cost effective as well. In many of these cases, the school administrators individually were paying 18 cents on the dollar to purchase the cards, which the IG classified as wasteful. All right, Vince, thank you.